So I've heard them called sun ovens or solar ovens or solar cookers. But basically it just takes the heat from the sun and this one's just so you can buy them. This one I bought, obviously, and um, or you can make them. And it just it. Oh, you can't really. So it has these panels, and they it comes with a little thing that so you can tilt it up to match the angle of the sun when the sun's lower on the horizon. It actually goes up quite a bit. Gosh, I bet those work well in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so you can make them. Um, my mom, she made one with uh, thanks. She made one with cardboard boxes, and there's there's um, instructions all over the internet of how to make them. You can use cardboard boxes and foil and some other insulation and stuff to make your own. Um, this glass, it has a glass cover, and that, like, if you make your own, you do need to have the glass cover. Um, and then this one, it comes with a little tray that hangs, that hangs so that as you're tilting it and moving it around, um, oh. it, it keeps the food up. So, so there's a couple things. One is the food can't be directly on the bottom of the oven. It needs the air circulation. But what happens is you put the, you close the glass and you, it has these little, you close it tight and it, it creates a seal. And so you have the reflection of the sun um, and these are specifically focus it towards the center. And then you have the greenhouse effect and the airtight um, cover that heats it up. And it has a little thermometer inside. And I, I had, never used it and and bonnie asked about it for this class and i thought oh i have one and i've never used it i've had it for i think two or three years just sitting in so i thought well i should use it so i pulled it out and i um and it, it's been raining for the last couple of weeks and so, <laughs> so it does only work if the sun is out um, but I, I used it a couple of days ago when we had a sunny day it wasn't all the way sunny the clouds kept coming over the sun and so because it wasn't completely sunny, it only got up to about, it got up to about 275, which is pretty good for a cloudy-ish day. Um, if the sun is bright, it can get up to like 350, 375 inside, just like a regular oven. So they say you can cook anything in it that you can cook in a regular oven or on a stove top. So you can't like fry foods or that's basically they say anything else you can do. Um, I made rice in it. I just put it in like a canning jar and um, just put the cold rice in, the cold water in. I stuck it in there. Um, a couple of hours is how long it took at the 250-ish range. And it wasn't at that temperature the whole time because when it was cloudy, the temperature went down and then back up. Um, and when I pulled it out, it wasn't, you know when you cook rice, it's kind of, um, I don't know, when I cook rice on the stove top, it's a lot of time more done underneath than it is on top if I don't stir it and stuff. It was perfectly done all the way through. It was, it was, and that's one of the things they say about this, it evenly cooks everything all the way through because of the, um, the way that it just it heats everything inside evenly. Um, and I was gonna make, I was gonna try muffins today because I haven't done really much else in it and it was cloudy all day, so I couldn't use it. So that's one of the things, like it's really good because it doesn't take any fuel. You don't have to store any fuel to be able to use it. And so um, you can save on fuel if you're in a situation where you need it, then you don't have to use all the fuel that you saved on a sunny day, you could use this. Um, but then the downside is that if it's cloudy or raining or nighttime, that it's not gonna be able to do anything. Um, and I did heat up water in it, and I was surprised how hot the water got. Um, I stuck a thermometer in the water when I pulled it out, and the water was 203 degrees. So it wasn't quite boiling, but it was really hot. Um, and um, yeah, so that's, and they say you can bake in it. It doesn't brown quite like an oven would because the heat is really even, but it still would taste. But I said, I haven't, I haven't baked in it yet, so I don't know Did what that was. Like, um, my mom has one too, so when she's used it, they, what she says, as the sun 
you know, arches over, then you reposition it kind of as you go, like if you're cooking something for quite a few hours. So yeah. she would set it up on something like out in her, she would, like in, for her yard, they have a lot of trees, but in her um, oh, driveway area is the, the biggest spot without trees. And so she would put it out there and then just kind of watch it throughout the day and watch the shadows and then reposition it according to where the sun was to let it get like the most direct light. So you can, you, that's yeah, something you think about. Yeah, you can change it. This, um, they actually, I, I thought I would have to move it this way, uh -huh. and I, I didn't have to move it this way very much. It was up and down that I had to move okay. it um, as the sun came over, yeah. um, and so I had this, it has this little like prop thing in the back, and so I kept having to put it up farther um, to, to catch the sun. And this one has like these little plastic things with a little hole in it, and it, they're actually meant to focus it, so like it... it it shines the little light straight through, so you, it, you can see in the sunlight, it has this little you know, circle of light inside the, the little plastic box. And so as you move the sun, whenever that circle of light is right in the middle, it's focused. So it kind of helps you know where to, you know, tip it up or down or turn it sideways. So I really actually really liked that about, about this. Um, and I, you could probably, you know, it's just a little box with a hole in it, so if you made your own, I'm sure you could figure out a way to, to do that. Um, but yeah, they say like every 20 to 30 minutes, just kind of go check it and move it as, as the sun goes. What about over. pans? Because I know like when you purchase the sun, the sun oven, like the main brand sun oven, like it can come with specific pans that fit inside it. And did, did you read anything or anything that would talk about like if you did it on your own, like what you need or how thick yeah, you know, thin, for like bread or thin cookies? Thin pans, and... they said thin pans, you can use glass or metal that's like darker. Um, I've seen on the internet people use foil. Um, and if you, they did say like a lot of the things if you cover it, um, Using a shiny lid isn't good because it, it, reflects, it reflects the heat out. So they say use like a dark lid or a glass mm -hmm. lid or um, so I don't know if like you used foil to yeah. cover things if you would like um, I don't know if you could like sharpie it or I don't know the chemicals, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> about that. If you would, I don't know. But um, they did say like just regular pans from your kitchen work fine, but the thinner metal is usually better um, or glass or they say that you know the thick pans won't they take longer to heat up and so they're not gonna um, maybe work as well. So how long did it take you to cook the rice? Um, I left it in there because I went and ran errands so I left <laughs> it in there for about two hours. That, that's another thing they say is they said food won't burn. So you could leave it in there you know for four hours five hours and it won't burn. The, the principle is very similar to the Wonder Oven, mm -hmm. and so the, the principle of it, scientifically behind it, it won't, won't burn it. And so yeah, you could leave a roast in there all day long and it won't dry it out or anything. As It'll, long as the heat stays up to keep it, it safe. Even, keep it safe yeah. Yeah. yeah, as long as you keep it sealed, it traps it all in there and keeps the moisture in there and I mean it just... You don't want the principle. Small bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no no small kids can... in there, but I, I've oh. cooked brownies and bread in, in a sun oven, and they both turned out really well. So they, they, you can actually do a lot of things besides just cooking food in the sun oven. Um, you can, you can't, I mean, you can't technically, you could boil water in it if you could get the sun focused long enough and hot, but um, you can pasteurize water in it, which then would make it safe mm -hmm. to use. You can heat water for washing dishes and things like that without having to waste your fuel. Um, you can melt wax, like if you have little candles, like mm -hmm. the candle ends, you can melt them so that then you can create new candles out of your leftovers if you needed light, you know. Um, i trying to think what else. There's a list on there that um, has, on the handout, that has a bunch of just different ways. That, oh, they used it to sanitize. You can't, you can't sanitize liquids in it because, it, it, and you can pasteurize, but you can't like sanitize liquids in it. But they said you could sanitize like dry medical supplies um, in it, like, you know, if you have tweezers or scissors or something, because when it heats up to a certain temperature long and enough. maybe for two minutes, I think. Yeah, so that it'll sanitize those dry medical supplies. Um, 
So there's lots of different ways that you can use it in a situation where. So where did you get so, yours? I got I got this on Amazon. They if you buy them, they're not they're not cheap. It, yeah. I want to say it was in the two hundred dollar range. Two two fifty. Yeah. They're under three hundred, I think. It, but it's yeah. and you can pay a little bit more, and they get like the accessories that come with them, like the pans that fit in that particular cinnamon or. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is not big enough to fit a nine by thirteen pan. Um, so it's it would take a smaller. So you have to thing. think of that when you. If you purchase one or you make one even, that your pans can go in it. And you can follow yeah. different blogs of people that are distributors for them and at various times throughout the year they'll run specials on them where they throw in like all the accessories for yeah. free or those kind of things. And so you can get better deals at different times of year just looking around yeah. if you're I just want to say, um, I went to day camp several years ago and put a cookie sheet in my window, a uh, car window, and the, on the windshield, or the dashboard, and I just got the cookie dough that you break apart, and you know, it's like already mixed up, and I put it in, and um, when I, at the end of the day, they were cooked, they weren't browned at the bottom like you would think of a cookie would be browned. It looked like the dough had just spread out, but they were cooked all the way through. And I think that's kind of like what the sun does. It'll cook it all the way through, but it's a soft cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not like browned at all. But it was fun. And the sun did it. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting when I was looking at the websites with some of the different information, trying to find instructions like how to make it and stuff. A lot of them talk about how they use it just every day in some of the underdeveloped countries where they don't have the resources and that it just, there are lots of families who just say that's how they live and that they use the sun oven and it like is a way of life and it's a like huge blessing to them that they have it. That is their oven, their cooking yeah. source. And yeah, and then they don't, it doesn't cost them money continually to have to be able to fuel or Firewood. Yeah. And you said it doesn't doesn't work on a cloudy day, but it does work on cold days. Yes, you can use it in the winter. Like a lot of people yeah. use it when they go hunting and it's yeah. snowy outside, and it still will heat up to three hundred degrees inside if it's sunny. It's a. I, I've heard and read various people say it's great for Sundays. They'll put in their meal before they leave for church. And. <laughs> yes. And, and, if, and then when they come back from church, it's already cooked. The house that you didn't have to heat up the house or run the stove or or those kind of things. And so, probably great for Texas summer. Yeah. yeah. Or winter. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you have a fenced backyard, your meal will still be back there. We don't have a fenced yard. So <laughs> <laughs> we probably wouldn't have dinner when we got over Unless there. Unless you have Or was over. Well, it is sealed. <laughs> It, the glass seals in pretty tight. It has like this little gasket, and it seals on. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how well. A, I'm sure it's not completely safe for animals and stuff. But the other thing well, I'm talking about have, people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a backyard. I mean, we just we're in a mobile home. So <laughs> but the thing I do like is because we've cooked with Dutch ovens before in our backyard, and with the little kids, it's always really hard to. Because we don't, we usually cook down on the ground when we cook with that kind of stuff outside. We have to pay really close attention to where the kids are and make sure that they're staying away from it. Whereas this one, I felt like it didn't ever get hot enough on the outside that it would burn the kids. The glass gets too warm. Hot, but with this stuff on here, they couldn't really get into Have you touched it. those, like when the sun's hitting them, do they get warm? Like they get warm, but they're not hot enough to burn you. Interesting. Yeah, yeah they're just aluminum, so they, they don't yeah. heat up. Yeah, so I did feel like it was outside. I didn't feel like I had to watch my kids like a hawk yeah. when they went outside and, and this was cooking, which was kind of nice because it, yeah. it wasn't dangerous to have to sit out there by it or lock the door and keep them inside when I was. Is the edge of that glass, is it beveled so it's not sharp anyway? Yeah. Yeah, and if, if you made your own, you can just buy the beveled glass pieces. They're not super expensive and just. And did that temperature gauge, did that come in there? It came in there, yeah. Yeah, and it came with the temperature gauge in it and then the little hanging rack that you can hang it and then it keeps everything level or if you, uh, if you, 
wanted to cook something bigger that wouldn't fit in with the hanging because it's at an angle and you wanted to kind of, you could just set it down. Because you have to have air underneath it so you can't set something straight down on the okay. bottom. I mean, you could probably put a jar Did you get the pans and stuff that the I didn't see them. No, I just got the basic. Yeah. So I just used um, like glass jars right. for my water and my rice. But um, I figured if I was going to make muffins or cookies I'd have to eat. I don't know if a regular muffin tin would fit in there. I'm probably not get the smaller like six ones or um, so I haven't invested in it. Do you want to turn it forward oh, yeah. so that the we camera. can get a good view of it on the camera? Ooh. That light's no, can miss it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Alright. Does anybody have any other questions? You can see the little thing in the back too that like it goes up and down to, okay. to, I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah. Just. All right, well, thank you.